This is Cindy Blair from the Alexandria Museum of Art. Welcome to another Art Together Tuesday. Today we introduce you to our latest exhibition, She Persisted. She Persisted features women in Louisiana art that broke through systems that traditionally favored male artists. During this exhibition, we will speak to a few of the artists as well as women in our central Louisiana community to hear their stories and how they have persisted. Over the next few months, we're going to bring you stories from many amazing women. But for now, here's a sneak peek of what's to come during She Persisted. I had to persist the whole time, really. Everybody knew that there was enormous discrimination against women. But once I started making art, then it was a totally, you know, it was like a personal sacrifice, but something that I really, really wanted to do. I was going to do it no matter what. So I was very aware that it was an unequal playing field, and um, when I got back to Baton Rouge after working at UNO, um, we started the Women's Caucus for Art, a whole group of female artists, and we started making our own exhibition times and putting up our own exhibits. So to persist meant to try and, and find ways around the system. And I would say up until the 19, late 1980s, women were still being not included in major exhibitions because they were women. So the goal is to, to just keep uh, exploring. You know, it's kind of like an explorer, you know, wondering, I wonder what's, what's up there if I go a little further, you know, if I go a little higher, what's up there, you know? And so that's art, you know, it's like, what would happen if I, if I just go a little more, a little more, a little more? And the more you go, you know, you start discovering things that you never, you know, you didn't know you had in you. And so that's, that's the thing about persisting. You, you discover what you, you never knew you could do. In law school, it's very competitive. Um, and I can remember people hoping that I would drop out because I was pregnant. Yeah. I can remember having to persist while studying in law school because I had to work two jobs while in law school. And when you get to law school, they tell you, you can't work, you shouldn't work, that it's not recommended because you'll need all of your time in order to be successful in school. But I didn't have that choice. Yeah, so um, I guess, you know, everyone talks about when their children are born and that's like the, the big pivotal moment. Well, it was 1997 and I had just started law school. Um, big plans, I'd finished my master's degree and um, my son uh, was born eight weeks premature in the uh, middle of my second semester of law school um, with a very rare non-genetic structural birth defect that would only be described as catastrophic. You've survived a pandemic. Most of my friends have survived being sick from the deadly virus. We've survived two hurricanes. We've survived two ice storms. And we just keep getting up and coming back and coming back and coming back. And when our great, great, great grandchildren look back on us, they're gonna think, man, they were tough, tough women. To hear the rest of the stories of these amazing women and more, follow Alexandria Museum of Art on social media and look for our special member portal coming soon with special content for our members.